so we've been receiving families ever since last week, um, I think it's a 10. And we've, I've just been doing a little bit of everything. I started off with running errands, buying everything that we were going to need to receive, you know, the first batch of the families that were coming. And after that, I started taking care of getting the tickets for them, making sure everybody had a ticket, plane, plane ticket, bus ticket, whatever they needed. I was in charge of contacting all of the family members and making sure everybody got to their destination safely and thank God as of now they did, they've all arrived just safely. It's important for me because it's just helping my community, helping, you know, as me coming um, as a young girl, you know, from Mexico, to me it's so important for the, everybody to achieve the American dream. If I got it, I want other people to as well, you know, get that opportunity because I know that I've watched and I've seen that the families over there don't have a lot of resources. They're hungry. I've talked to some of the families that have came here and, you know, they, they're very poor, so it made me want to continue to come and help, even if I have a job on the side and everything. And right after work, I've been coming straight here, and I don't leave till like 2 in the morning, sometimes 3. Sometimes I spend the night here and go to work. It's just, it's been, it's completely worth it. So. My response is, these people would have starved if they stayed in their country. These people would have died. Their kids would have no future. I've had families here that tell me that the kids can't even get an education. They don't have food. They make a dollar a day, if much, and they can't live off of that. These countries need, either need our help or they need to come over here. They need to look for help. I mean, I've been watching the news of how they're trying to cross from Guatemala to Mexico and it just breaks my heart to see, you know, like the hope that they have and how they are all so united. And I, I mean, we have plenty of space. We have plenty of space. I, I don't know what, why more people can't come, why they can't have the opportunity to, you know, be here and achieve something with their lives rather than just be left over there to die. The one that really, really stuck to me, I had this lady talking to me about how she had a store and, you know, I was like, oh, so you were pretty well off. And she's like, oh no. And she's like, um, she said the government would go and they would take dues from each store and they would leave her like, without anything. And their officials would just go and take stuff from there without even paying her for it. She said she couldn't, you know, support her family and she came here. And I just, I've heard so many stories like that, where, and I've seen, like, I've had, like, you know, I've seen kids that are, like, so sick, and the first time, like, you know, they, they got here, they were all, like, throwing up because they, they couldn't even sustain the food in their stomachs. So today, that's why we prepare, like, the chicken soup, so it can be more subtle on them, because they were throwing up, they couldn't even eat, like, and they suffer so much hunger on the way, thirst, they were dehydrated. We had to get, you know, like all of these things so they can drink and stuff so they can feel better and all of that's just gonna stick with me and because of that I'm continuing to be here and supporting this mission. I am so happy to be a part of this church and part of this community where we're all getting together and helping out.